listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio, man. We are here once again. And today, man, we have a true honor talking to a special guest today. He's been on before, but we welcome him once again, Michael J. White. He is going to talk to us about this amazing new film that's out tomorrow. Outlaw Johnny Black. First and foremost, sir, how are you doing this morning? I'm good yourself. Man, doing great, man. So I know you had fun watching this film. Man, this film was very active, very funny. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind the project. Well, you know, I grew up with these movies like Buck and the Preacher and uh, uh, movies from Sidney Poitier, like uh, uh, Uptown <laughs> Saturday Night, Piece of the Action. These movies that uh, they meant a lot to me growing up. They always had morality, and there was, there was always movies that was fun for the for the whole family to watch. And I kind of wanted to recreate that for a new generation. This film, it follows the story of Johnny Black determined to avenge his father's death by targeting Brett Clayton. So, man, having fun with the camera, <laughs> the way it was shot, the way people did their parts... I mean, it just seemed to really flow pretty well. I mean, how was it like to create your cast? Well, man, that was a that was a luxury. I mean, I I got the cast. I got my dream cast, and like honestly, um, if I if I had um, fifty million to shoot this movie, it would really be the same cast, you know? Because I just got I got you know I started with just who would be the very best most talented actors for these roles. And I luckily got the people I, I looked for. Just so happens the most talented ones may not be the biggest names. I like that. And when you have this experience of being able to write, direct, and star in the movie, I mean, did you feel any pressure at all trying to make this project a success? Or was it just from the start, easy flow? Well, I'll tell you, the biggest pressure I have is for myself. If I can appease me, uh, usually everybody else is satisfied. Uh, so, you know, I mean, you know, that that's really the thing. I'm, I'm not somebody who just um, falls in love with my own stuff. I'm very self-critical. So, I mean, um, the pressure was, you know, is, is self <laughs> self-inflicted. And as a highly trained martial uh, artist, you use a lot of action in these scenes. And what was your uh, game plan in trying to make this fun to watch, but also action-packed? Well, see, I I know I'm going to handle the action part. That's, that's, you know, that's old hat for me. So my concentration is more so in the humor and storytelling and pacing of the movie. Uh, so the action is, like I say, um, I mean, people would probably be surprised to know that every action scene that I was involved with, I had choreographed in my head on the way to the set. So it's not like I even rehearsed. And when you work with these great talents, like you speak on it, not even rehearsing because it just flows that way. Was it like that with some of your cast as well? Did y'all do any improv? Yeah, there was some improv. I, I hired the greatest improv person I've ever seen in my life, uh, which is uh, Gary Anthony Williams. Um, I used to be a fan of his. I used to go watch his improv group uh, called The Groundlings. And to me, I was always amazed. And, and uh, Gary Anthony Williams is the most unsung, brilliant, comedic mind I've ever seen. And it's an irony that he is actually the voice of the series, Unsung. And with this movie bringing joy and, and family entertainment, how is it important to to use the inspiration, like you said earlier in, in this interview, as a course to just give people a way to just escape the crazy world we live in? Well, yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to entertain, but I wanted to to, to tell something at the same time. Now, I'm a, I'm a former school teacher, and I feel that uh, 
a, sto- a story or a movie told the right way can really be very impactful. And so, you know, I've got messages of redemption and forgiveness in this movie that I was hoping that people would, t- you know, attach on to. And um, the very first test screening I had, a producer called me the very next day and said, because of my movie, he contacted his mother uh, that he hadn't spoken to in eight years. So, you know, he said, because of the movie, you know, so that to me made me really confident that I did something correctly. And with a massive following someone like yourself has on social media and just period with your work, what would you say to up and coming uh, writers and directors who want to be at the level you are being able to create the kind of movies that you want people to see? Well, I I always say be very empathetic to everyone. Uh, My philosophy is I, I always look forward to learning. And I look forward to being wrong because every time I'm wrong, I learn something. Um, I think people are myopic these days and they're kind of, are, are kind of being trained to think from only one perspective. If you're going to be in this business, I, I would urge people to write, produce, direct. Uh, and, and even, I don't care if you're trying to do um, wardrobe, Walk in the shoes of other people so you really understand what they're about and, and what, you know, they care for, you know, so you'll be a better, you know, better leader or just, you know, understand and it will just be a better communicator. And last question for you, when you look back at your early part of your career, what are some of the things that you learned along the way that you have used in your recent projects as being your own director and your own writer for your own films? Well, it's kind of like piggybacking on the last thing I said. But um, one thing I, I learned is that, um, you know, that if you're following your dream, you've already won. And so knowing that has helped me out tremendously in my career. Uh, a lot of times we we get caught up in wanting things, and um, and there's a default setting that that uh, nothing satisfactory. You know, you know, it's kind of um, it's the this this you know it's kind of like it's connected to the journey. You know, is is the the most precious part. And the fact that you're you're following your heart and you're really trying to you you have the the gift of pursuing your dreams is priceless in and of itself. Once again, been listening to our Refocus Radio talking to our special guest today, Michael J. White, and the new film Outlaw Johnny Black is in theaters September fifteenth. That's tomorrow. Man, first and foremost, Michael J. White, anything you want to say for people who are going to prepare themselves to go out and watch this film? Yeah, I mean, I say this is a movie that that you can bring the whole family to, and I believe it's a movie that you you'll get something new out of every time you see it. Once again, Michael J. White wants to say thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you.